Welcome to In Silico Lab. Here today I'm going to show you a few really cool experiments and a lot of robots. Uh, and we are today starting a very important experiment that is going to last us from 10 to 14 days. We're going to run it over holidays uh, that will help us identify novel targets in uh, uh, colon cancer, so CRC. Uh, let's see if we can uh, uh, explain what we are trying to do today. So yes, this epic entrance doesn't cost a lot. Compared to the robots, it's not exactly very expensive. Here we have the sample intake room. So we uh, put in the samples. In this case, we are working with different um, colon cancer cell lines uh, and some other tissue types uh, that go into this room. The robot picks it up, uh, grinds it, uh, microplates it, does quality control, uh, and then sends it off to another room where it's being picked up by an AGV, Autonomous Guided Vehicle. Uh, and the AGV uh, does three routes, so it's three trips. <laughs> um, one trip is to the imaging station. So uh, we have an imaging station where we collect quite a bit of imaging data. It's uh, uh, high content imaging, it is cell counts, uh, it is uh, fluorescence. Uh, and part of the sample gets destroyed. Uh, part of the sample gets into the incubator for expansion. Uh, here are the incubators. And part of the sample goes into another room, which is the NGS room, next generation sequencing. So there we do three laboratory preparations. We do whole exome sequencing or whole genome sequencing prep, depending uh, on what we want to achieve. So now we are going to be doing a whole uh, exome se sequencing. Uh, we're also going to be doing uh, the prep for RNA-seq. So that's my favorite data type. We will also do a prep for uh, methylation. Uh, and all of that is going to go into the NGS room where uh, Illumina Sequencer is going to process the samples. The data is going to come back into AI. AI is going to uh, pick the targets. And uh, so automatically, we're going to pick five uh, classical targets, five uh, moderately novel and four novel. Uh, and we're going to try to validate those targets using real compounds. Um, so here we have a compound management system. Uh, we have currently uh, more than 8,000 compounds loaded. Uh, if necessary, we can get uh, more compounds from our very large compound hotel um, uh, where they're properly frozen. And um, the samples from the incubator are going to be incubated with the compounds that AI selects. And we are going to complete the entire workflow one more time. We are going to get uh, high content, high resolution imaging, cell counts, several other data types. We are going to do RNA-seq, uh, we are going to do um, uh, methylation uh, and basically all of those uh, data is going to go back into our um, AI and uh, if it did well it's going to get uh, rewarded if it did poorly it will get punished and we're going to get some learnings so we really hope to be able to identify some novel targets there and validate them uh, and at the same time we will be able to test the entire workflow end-to-end -end where we uh, engage all the six rooms, fully interconnected, with laboratory robotics. So again, we are not planning to send any humans in any one of those rooms. Uh, over the holiday period, we are going to do it uh, during the March uh, May break. Uh, we are planning to do two workflows in parallel. One is going to um, demonstrate how the targets are automatically picked by AI, and another one we're going to give um, some of this data to humans to see how they perform compared to AI. So uh, we're going to allocate approximately four days to that so people can also take a vacation. So that's our plan for this run. Uh, some people agreed to sleep in the lab during the holidays. Some people decided to live nearby to ensure that uh, they can rescue the equipment if something goes wrong. Uh, but this is going to be a pretty epic run, so I'm very happy to be uh, uh, here today uh, with the team to ensure that we push the launch button.